the jury unanimously find the defendant guilty of murder. Those are the words from the judge as we join you with breaking news, guilty of murder. A jury hands down its verdict for a former police officer. Hello and thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Gilma Avalos. And I'm Ken Molestina. More than a year after Roy Oliver shot and killed 15-year-old Jordan Edwards, a jury of his peers convicted him in the teenager's murder. That same jury immediately returned to the courtroom for the sentencing phase. We have team coverage for you this afternoon. Our Robbie Owens has more on the possible sentence that Oliver now faces. But we start with Steve Pitt. Who has covered every minute of this trial with reaction to the verdict? Steve? As you know, Ken, this case reverberating around this nation for the past year because of the, the implications of a police officer uh, accused of murder. In this case, that officer said while on duty that he was protecting another officer. Nonetheless, there was a grand jury who indicted him, and as you saw today, a jury of his peers finding him guilty of murder. Roy Oliver listening to that uh, verdict read to him, responding silently, not reacting at all to this verdict. You can see the hugs and tears, however. That's Jordan Edwards' biological mother there you see in some of those hugs after hearing this jury's decision. Uh, the jury called Oliver's decision to fire five shots into a car filled with teens in April of 2017 murder. He was found not guilty on two aggravated assault charges. The fired police officer said he was protecting another officer that night. He claimed the car Jordan was riding in was trying to hit another officer on that scene. The case generating public demonstrations at one point last year and was cited as another case of a white officer shooting an unarmed black male. It was the father of Jordan Edwards here within the past hour saying he only wanted justice for his son. I just want to say I'm happy, very happy. You know, Odell and I, we were talking last night, and, and one of the things that he said is that he don't ever want another parent, another father, to have to go through what this family has had to deal with. This case is not just about Jordan. It's about Tamir Rice. It's about Walter Scott. Yeah. Yes. It's about Ernest Alton Sterling. Mm -hmm. It's about every every African-American, not all African-American who has been killed and who has not gotten justice. And this case is not done. The jury still listens and decides on the punishment aspect of this for Roy Oliver. For that part of the story, we turn now to our Robbie Owens with more. Robbie. Well, see, that's right. The guilty verdict today, just one step in the journey for justice for Jordan and this still grieving family. Prosecutors now are calling witnesses to paint a very personal picture of the murdered team. Right now, teacher after teacher from Mesquite High School taking the stand. They're telling jurors about the young man who, when given the opportunity to read a book in class, told his teacher that he wanted to read the Bible. One teacher told jurors that he, quote, radiated joy. Another shared that he was a leader in the class and was always eager to help others. His young life and his loss, they say, has had a lasting impact in the Mesquite High School community. My motto is smile, smile like Jordan, um, because that's all he did. I mean, he, he lit up the room um, whenever he had issues. <laughs> you know, it was Jordan, you all right? And it was always this big smile. It just kind of takes you back because you're like, that's, that's not a kid who should be dead. So, um, sorry. <laughs> so I, that's how I found out. And we went to school that day and we were just all kind of in shock. Um, or went to the staff and we were just kind of in shock just because we didn't, that's not, a, that's not what we expected for his life. That's not what you had in mind for a kid like that. So all kinds of emotional stories of his days at Mesquite High School, including the fact that football teammates now still treat his locker as a shrine and no one can use it. And his number, number 11, they say it has to be earned to be able to wear that number. We will have more on the sentencing phase coming up for you at 5 o'clock. Uh, Roy Oliver, now convicted of murder, is facing anywhere from five to a possible life prison sentence. Reporting live at the Crowley Courthouse in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Robbie, thank you. We'll see you soon. And we will continue to bring you more reaction to this verdict throughout the evening, as well as the ongoing sentencing phase. Keep it right here on CBS 11, and you can always find the latest on our website and social media platforms as well.